Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the right on brush stroke effect in Adobe After Effects. The first time I saw this effect was through a YouTube channel called Beautiful Destinations. It's a travel um, channel. I think they're the ones who introduced this to everybody and you know did it first, but now a lot of people have been doing this in their videos, so I thought I'd teach you how to as well. It's actually a really easy tutorial, so if you guys enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button and yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing you want to do is press on the text tool and type in your text. So this could be your channel name or whatever. I'm going to be typing in my channel name. Most of the time people will type in, you know, the title of the video or like a location like Iceland or like, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to type in Steven Van here. I'm using a font called Gloss and Bloom. I believe Beautiful Destination uses this and I've seen it a lot. So I think it fits the theme and it looks really nice because it is a brush font. So if you want that, it's free and it's in the description. So yeah, check that out. Now what I want to do is align the text. So press on the line right here and press the second and fifth options. Basically this second option aligns it um, horizontally and the fifth option aligns it vertically. So it'll you know fit right in the center. Now what you want to do is press on the pen tool here and zoom in. You can press alt and scroll or you can um, just select right here and choose how much you want to zoom in by 200%, 300%. But usually I just use alt and scroll. And basically you just want to use the pen tool, select on the text uh, layer right here. And you just want to, you know, go over the general shape of the text. You don't have to go perfectly around each, you know, line Line, you know each edge so just like do this and what you want to do is essentially just select points as if you're actually writing the text so for the s you would go like from top to bottom t you would go from like down then you know left to right and the only thing you have to be careful of is that you don't make more than one path so usually the paths are kind of color coded so here i think it's just black but if you see that one line is a different color than the rest of the lines then you know that you have two paths so make sure all the points are connected so let's just get right here and just create the general shape you don't have to be perfect Perfect, like I said before. So let's just do it real quick. You'll see why you don't really need to be perfect with this. After we do this, we're gonna apply an effect um, that does not require any plugins or anything like that. You don't have to download anything. It's already inside the editor, so that's good. So once we're done that, we just wanna go to effects, search up something called stroke, and make sure you're still selected on the text layer. And then you wanna select this one. So under generate, there should be one called stroke right here. You can either just double click on it or you can just drag onto it. So I'll just drag onto it and make sure that mask one is selected. Selected. If there's two masks available to select, you know you did it wrong because there should only be one path. So now you just want to increase the brush size until you can't see anything at all. So now that this whole thing is covered, you want to now go to paint style and select reveal original image. And so basically what this does is when the end point right here, so if you look at end is at 100, the whole thing's visible. When it's set at 0%, it's all gone. So essentially all you do is you go down here. So press on the text layer, go to effects, stroke, and go down to where end is. You just want to set a keyframe where you want it to start and end. Where it begins, you want to set it at 0%. And where it ends, you want to set it as 100%. So uh, we're just going to end it off maybe like right here. And then we're just going to set a keyframe there. And then wherever it starts, we're going to set this as 0 Obviously, if you move the keyframes closer, the animation will appear you know, faster. So I'll do that right now. And I'm just going to play it through a couple times so that it kind of renders and it's smoother. So if you just play it. You can see it looks really cool and that's kind of faster than usual but and if you want to make the effect a little bit smoother you can just highlight both of these right click on them go to keyframe assistant and then go to easy ease so there you go that's the tutorial hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit that thumbs up button and yeah my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one